It's the stupidest way you've ever gotten laid. I approached an absolutely stunning girl while she was working at Tesco and managed to secure her number. This girl was absolutely stunning, and me still having my V card, I could not stop fantasizing about her. I texted her and got a reply, so I struck up a conversation. We vibed really well and the next day, I went onto the hub to find actresses that looked like her. I then proceeded to develop an addiction to jacking it, and did it four times a day to the actress who looked like her. I even started developing cheese down there, it was a nightmare to clean. We texted for about a week and I managed to secure a date at her house. Throughout the whole time. She kept being super flirty with me and I felt like we had some actual connection going on. Finally, I went bold and risked it all. I asked her if she was free anytime soon or had a free house to which I could come over. She then told me she lived alone. The stage was set, and I invited myself over to hers, and she seemed very willing to accept. The day I went over I cleared all my plans. Hell, I even called in sick to work to make sure I could go over to hers. That day, I shaved my bush down there for the first ever time, washed away all of the cheese that had built up as a result of the previous mentioned jacking, even sprayed deodorant on my PP, put on my cologne and headed out the door. The drive wasn't too bad, it was about 40 minutes and I could manage it. I arrived at her house and was welcomed. Her house was clean, she looked beautiful and she welcomed me in. We got to conversing and the whole time she kept being flirty, touching my leg, and making suggestive comments. I was ready to bone, and was working up the nerve to just go and kiss her already. As I was planning out the smoothest way to do this, her doorbell rang. My heart froze, but she remained calm. She stood up and walked over to the door. I invited my friend over, hope you don't mind. The hell? Would I mind, I'm about to lose my V-card in a three-way. The pretty girl came back, and behind her came the duff. The designated ugly fat friend. I mean, I'm not one to comment on weight, but this girl looked inflated, she had a 1 to 2 shoulder to waist ratio. I mean, this girl was big in all capital letters. Then before I could comprehend my dire situation, the pretty girl states, Hey this is my best friend Lauren, she saw a picture of you and figured you were super cute. She's recently single by the way. I sent you two up on a surprise date. I'll leave you two alone. With each sentence my heart sank deeper, and before I could respond the cute girl bolted upstairs. So here I was, me and Lauren. An absolute weapon of mass destruction. My heart actually sank when I saw what she was wearing. She wore a pupilli necklace, the exact one I had told the cute girl I liked the look of. They premeditated this, and even wore clothes which I like. On top of that, this girl, this consequence of the industrial revolution, was wearing a short crop top and short shorts. I tried to make small conversation but really struggled. Lauren, about 5 minutes into small talk whipped out a phone and offered to order us some pizza. I mean look, I'm not going to say no. I'll entertain this whale for some pizza. She orders it and out comes another surprise, a whole liter of vodka. Screw it, I've made it this far, maybe the alcohol will make me forget this night. I have some, she has some, and I have more. The pizza arrives into my utter dismay, this woman ordered it in cash, then when it arrived claimed to have forgotten her wallet, making me pay for the pizza. I sat there, intoxicated and ticked off. However, whilst I was eating pizza, trying to be as silent as possible, this beluga decides to grab the pizza out of my hand and start making out with me. Before I could process it, I was deep within her belly rolls. 20 minutes of heaven or hell later, I truly do not remember, we were finished. As I was done, I was disgusted with myself, post-nut clarity had hit me like a truck. I remember needing to get out of there, so I told her I was heading to the bathroom, and proceeded to head out the door. I was intoxicated, and had a 40 minute drive home. I decided to risk it, as I was not spending another second in that house with that wildebeest. Thankfully, I got home okay, the only hiccup during the car ride was me getting sick out the window of the car.